indescribable, indestructible. We must stop him here, now, today. Blob, part five, Beyond the Fourth Wall. This is part five in the epic tales of Blob. If you've missed the previous parts, them links down in the description, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a little bit confusing. We got Bob the Neckbeard, Blob the RPG Horror Stories, Blue the RPG Horror Stories, all kinds of stuff going on in the channel right now, and I appreciate you guys riding with me. So, now, we come to the last of the major problem players that I interacted with as Blob, a man who took metagaming to the next level, and for that reason, I will call him Meta. When I first met Meta, I did like him. He was one of the few older members of this server, a guy around my age, and he seemed chill. We hit it off talking about music that we like as we had similar tastes, and he even shared a few of his favorite albums with me. It was a real breath of fresh air after dealing with teenagers for weeks on end. I figured that, despite all the nonsense I'd been putting up with on the server so far, if I could find at least one reliable and halfway sane person to roleplay with, then I'd be able to get what I wanted out of it. Just one decent friend. God, that's rough, OP. I'll be your friend. I don't know if we can sit there and text roleplay, but uh, <laughs> we can kick it if you want. In character, Meta and I had our characters meet up and talk, leading to one of the few normal and calm conversations that Blob ever had on that server. Meta was not bothered by Blob's unsettling appearance and his past deeds, his powers of insight allowing him to see the faltering spark of humanity, or I guess goo-manity, <laughs> that was still within. I was, at that time, a little confused by exactly how Meta's powers worked, as he'd written his character sheet in a rather poetic style, but he seemed to have some ability to see and travel into other dimensions and possibly even the mind. Cool, so he's like Doctor Strange double plus good. <laughs> On their first meeting, Meta made Blob an offer, the ability to take on a human form so that they could see the world as companions. I had to stop and think about this out of character. You see, in a lot of ways, a human form would solve all of Blob's problems, finally allowing him to connect with other people and move about freely in society. And that was exactly the problem. It was far too good. It would effectively remove the character's central conflict. So reluctantly, I told Meta, out of character, that I couldn't have Blob accept that gift. Not yet, anyway. Meta did seem a little disappointed, but he said that he understood. How is he even capable of that in the first place? <laughs> you just take Blob to a dimension where, like, the humans is the monsters? Wait, that's this dimension, isn't it? We've been the demons all along, John. <laughs> As Meta and I talked, I lamented the various troubles that I've had with the server, the frustrating rulings from the mods, other players who were being obnoxious, and the weird bias against villain characters. Meta said this, Well, since they're just kids, you can just bully them into doing whatever you want. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> You're an adult, so they probably won't have the maturity to be able to stand up to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, not cool, man. He was being completely serious, and I was obviously taken aback. I told him that even though I was annoyed by a lot of the things the mods were doing, trying to bully them to get my way in imagination pretend time would be setting a terrible example. I also made a mental note that if Meta was willing to manipulate actual children, then he might try to manipulate me as well, and it turned out that I was very right about that. 100% sociopath. At least he's contained to the internet. At least it seems to me he's pushed away all the people in his actual life, but it's still really worrying. I decided to have Blob make a second attempt to break into the university in pursuit of the now half dozen fossil fragments being held there. Suck it, Scion. And I invited Meta along, explaining to him what was so important about the fossils and the university and how they tied into Blob's origin story. It would be a chance for Blob to reckon with his past 
as it would be the first time that he'd be returning to the laboratory in which he had been created. It could lead him closer to tracking down the enigmatic scientist who had been in charge of this project, a man who Blob, in his confusion, still saw as his father, despite the fact that this scientist had tried to kill him. Oh yeah, them some daddy issues, in they? <laughs> These events were formative to Blob's personality, shaping his paranoia and his contradictory feelings towards humanity. This time, rather than an action-packed robbery, Meta would use his abilities to peacefully ensure the two of them would be able to sneak in and explore the basement library and labs without any interruption. As we worked our way into the labs, Meta began to narrate, taking over DM duties. Now, this was a little odd. In this kind of RP, I'd normally be the one DMing here, since this was mainly about my own character's story, you see. At first, I didn't really mind, since it took some of the load off me, but as we continued, he just kept going. <laughs> we reached the labs, but instead of finding the facility we were looking for, Meta said we were confronted with strange security machines. Interacting with them, a portal opened into a secret hidden lab, which Meta described as the one where Blob had been created. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I said, OP. I mean, I had envisioned the lab as being more or less a typical modern research facility, not a super tech one hidden in a pocket dimension, but okay. It wasn't the craziest take on the concept, I guess. I figured maybe Meta was just being flashy. So I said, yes and, and had Blob follow Meta through the portal, planning on firmly retaking control of the narrative once we were on the other side. I did not get the chance. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have done that before entering the portal, which shouldn't exist. But it is awkward to just like put the brakes on the entire roleplay. I sort of get that. On the other side of the portal, what Meta described was not a human laboratory at all, but some kind of secret alien research facility, complete with extraterrestrial technology and all manner of alien specimens in tubes. Meta proudly proclaimed that uh, this was all the work of an advanced alien race of his own design, and that these aliens were Blob's real creators. Oh, for what? This man was attempting to completely rewrite my character's backstory, like it was some kind of cool surprise. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the surprise. I hope you have the receipt. I will return this immediately. Now, I am all for bouncing off the creativity of other players, but this? He was doing this completely without my permission, and it was very much going to change my entire character. Blob fully remembered his time in the lab. His creators were effectively his family, as far as he was concerned, and they were decidedly not aliens. I told Meta out of character that I couldn't allow his last post to be canon, and that we had to retcon it. A normal person would have apologized and just rolled back the post. As it turned out, Meta was definitely not a normal person. <laughs> I really don't understand the, the thought process behind this whole thing. Blob, I am your father. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Immediately, Meta began arguing with me insisting that his version of my character's backstory uh, was cooler and that I should allow him to do it. This was the second time he had tried to radically change my character in as many scenes. I held my ground and eventually he relented, sort of, because now I was about to get a taste of what Meta's powers really were. You see, he apparently could see into all realities including the real world. Yeah, he's just like Deadpool, bro, whoa. <laughs> and that included the post that I was making him retcon. So this absolute poo brain decided that while the secret alien lab post was retconned, it was still true in an alternate reality. Yeah, which doesn't affect this one. Okay, whatever. Have your little daydreams. <laughs> This alternate reality was one which Meta was fully aware of, in character, and which he was openly disappointed with both Blob and myself, again, in character, for not choosing that alternate reality. 
<laughs> then he departed the scene in a judgmental huff. <laughs> uh, bro, you're so dumb. But hey, like we say here, sometimes the trash takes itself out, you know? Afterwards, Meta sent me a bunch of passive-aggressive Discord messages asking for advice regarding a friend. Pretty obviously me. Who didn't see eye to eye with him anymore? and what kind of groveling I thought that friend would need to do in order to get back into Meta's good graces. Oh yeah, super subtle. <laughs> he was transparently trying to manipulate me into some kind of gotcha for the sheer audacity of disagreeing with him about my own character during this superhero make-believe. But the entire thing was worded just vaguely enough that I couldn't call him out on it without him just feigning innocence. So I answered non-committally and blocked him. I still had some patience for toxic teenagers at that point. Yeah, I know, too much patience. But toxic adults? Nope, 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 nope. You're damn right, OP. He's, he's more than old enough to know better. Join me next time for the thrilling series finale in which I GTFO. I mean, getting up and out, it's been a long time coming, honestly. After one or two bad interactions, I'd be like, ah, oh, I see what this is about. But even in the last video, like, OP kind of described how in all these 18 plus spaces, it, it gets kind of coom brained and weird, and this is like a PG superhero story, which was what OP was looking for. Unfortunately, it's just been running to the ground. I don't know what any of the mods are doing. I guess sitting on the throne of power and knighting all of their friends. Meta is basically like <laughs> the, the embodiment of that Mythbusters clip. I reject your reality and substitute my own. But Meta, he ain't no Adam Savage, okay? <laughs> I run away from his reality 100%. Let's see how the finale goes, I do suppose. Should be a bit of a dumpster fire, so let's go ahead and get on into it. Blob Saga, the finale. Digging is overpowered. I guess. <laughs> it can be, I guess. That's why I'm always on the lookout for mole people. They covet human hair above all things. They make it into jackets and wigs. <laughs> uh, uh, this is the long awaited, I guess, conclusion to the Blob Saga. I mean, I've been looking forward to it for, for what that counts for. <laughs> After my falling out with Maida, I was a bit bummed out. I'd been on the server for a few months now, and every single person I'd interacted with for any extended amount of time had turned out to be a lunatic. <laughs> At this point, my closest friend on the server was Shadowcaster, of all people. I was seriously wondering if I was the common denominator here, but while I think I did make a few mistakes, I'd been in plenty of roleplay communities before, and I'd always gotten along with most people just fine. See, OP's out here self-reflecting and stuff. If anybody else in the server self-reflected for even a moment, then it might be a bearable place to exist. But they just refused to, so yeah, it's time to get up and out. At least this time, Blob had no difficulty acquiring the fossil fragments from the university, so I had him take those back to his lair. Having just been suddenly and confusingly rejected by Meta, one of the only friends he had ever made, I decided that Blob would fall deeper into his own misery and madness. This was spurred on by the influence of the fossil fragments, which began giving him visions, possibly real, possibly fake, of something buried deep below the city. And so, Blob began to dig. What do you want to bet is the, the Technodrome and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are gonna jump out? <laughs> out of character, I had the idea that Blob could construct a mad maze of trap-filled tunnels below the city in which he would eventually ensnare some hapless heroes. So I put in a power upgrade request for approval to the mods, a simple one, giving Blob the ability to burrow. And that inexplicably led to the series of events that finally convinced me to leave this super stupid server for good. Because the mods... They didn't like my request at all. <laughs> Burrowing would be too overpowered, somehow, apparently. And how would Blob be able to do that anyway? Isn't he made of goo? Can goo dig? Pfft. Why, that would be inconceivable. 
This hulking slime beast, previously described as being powerful enough to lift a car, clearly wouldn't have the strength to move around some dirt. Honestly, you probably just should have had your character start digging. It's way easier to ask forgiveness than permission, right? Though I probably shouldn't say or advocate that because a neckbeard's gonna hear it and think he has carte blanche to do whatever he wants. I'm talking specifically about a superhero roleplay server, okay? <laughs> but OP tries to explain his position. I tried to explain that while amorphous, Blob was not literally a liquid and he had the well-documented ability to dynamically reshape his anatomy to grow things like claws and spines or shovels, I guess. They were having none of it though. I was about to sarcastically ask if Blob would just be allowed to buy a damn shovel when both Gunslinger and Scion started piling on too. Bro, 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 <laughs> nobody needs your help with this, all right? This is so stupid, but at least it is an awakening for OP. He'll stop wasting his time. As you might remember, Gunslinger was an actual moderator and Scion was just sort of egging him on because now he was finally getting his chance to defeat Blob. Not just on a physical level, but on a conceptual one. The two of them began picking over not just my burrowing request, but my entire character sheet. The one that had been approved months ago. And with every single update I'd made to it having been painstakingly approved by the mods every step of the way, the two of them decided that it was now suddenly all terribly overpowered and it had to be changed. Bro, <laughs> what? He has weaknesses written into his character, which is more than I could say for like all of the other characters here. This was utterly absurd. I knew for a damn fact that Blob was not overpowered. Not compared to the other BS I'd seen on this server. I'd never wanted to get caught up in these dong measuring contests in the first place, but I was still having to fight tooth and nail just to give my character a chance to survive. Something their hero characters never had to deal with because of the stupid reason to kill rule. Only then to have my work arbitrarily stripped away because the only real balance on this server was how much the mods liked you on any given day. And you know what? I liked Blob. Despite how creepy and unpleasant he was, I had put a lot of work into him, and he deserved better than to get nerfed into the ground and taken out like a chump by these idiots who couldn't even understand the concept of their own precious characters facing a little adversity. And all of this over wanting to be able to dig. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I was getting tilted by teenagers as a grown adult. It happens, bro. Log on, play League of Legends for 20 minutes. It happens. <laughs> also, hey, I forgot to mention, if you watch the video this far, you're probably enjoying it. So uh, subscribe to Red X if you haven't already. Thanks so much. I took a deep breath. And instead of ranting at a bunch of literal children, I told them this. Actually, no. Forget about the update. I am going to be leaving this server because I have had enough. Finally, line in the sand, here we go. <laughs> I decided that I was going to go out on my own terms, however. I wanted to give Blob's story something of a real conclusion. After releasing his captives, I had him hire a boat to follow the trail of the fossil fragments in search of his people, finally leaving behind a city that had been his prison for his entire existence. Look at OP out here doing roleplay right. Most of the time I'm like, yeah, my character disappeared. Nobody knows where he went, it's fine. <laughs> First, however, Bob went to Japan where he paid a visit to Shadowcaster. Obviously she was in Japan now, <laughs> I guess. As a parting gift, he gave her a mysterious egg that he had found in the abandoned laboratory. I have no idea what was in it, but I figured that giving it to Shadowcaster would provide an excuse to create a new character that would cause some chaos, which of course would be a nice little way to say screw you to the rest of this server. Or maybe she'd just make an omelet with it. <laughs> Either way, parting gifts are always nice. Finally, I wrote a big, extremely extra solo post about Blob, finding the island where the fossils had been discovered, 
wherein he vanished into the caverns below to meet his judgment at the pseudopods of his progenitors. Nobody got to end his life after all. So sad, and I summarily left the server. Good riddance to bad rubbish, that's what we say around here. I still don't know what to make of it all. I've run into plenty of bad role players, but never a server that was so packed full of them. I spent a lot of time thinking about what, if anything, I might have done wrong. The real lesson is that I probably shouldn't have joined a server mainly populated by teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my argument since the beginning, but you laid out your lines of logic pretty well. I, I can see where OP is coming from. Maybe those teenagers will learn eventually. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and for the record, I brought Blob back later in a different superhero RP server, and people there seem to think that he's great. He's gotten over some of his issues and evolved into more of an anti-hero now because frankly, I felt like the dude deserved a break. I've been playing there for years now, and I haven't had much in the way of problem players over there either. TLDR, I played a supervillain in a freeform superhero RP server on Discord. The mods relentlessly micromanaged everything, villain player characters were hunted for sport, other players constantly metagamed and screwed my character over, and every single person that I had any meaningful interaction with ended up being a total loon. I took my blob and went home. <laughs> Sometimes the only thing you can do in a situation like this, honestly. You can't deal with people like this, big stupid doodle heads. They'll just drag you down to their level and beat you with experience, you know what I'm saying? I have to wonder if that old RP server is still up, or if the mods eventually made it implode, because that's what's going to happen sooner or later. Regardless of any of these trials and tribulations, I'm glad that OP now has a place to call his very own. I am slightly curious about what it is, but I wouldn't have time to play it anyways. Most of the time I spend on the internet, I spend it looking for cringe. And an RP server that is actually functional isn't that cringe. Little bit cringe? Not, not overly so. That old server though, man. <laughs> to dig my claws into that. Might make an interesting video someday, but probably I, I don't have the fortitude for all that. But I do appreciate you guys enjoying this saga, whether you enjoyed it piecemeal or in a big old compilation. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all them things, share the video around, you know what I'm saying? Those stuffs I always ask you to do. We got all kinds of links in the description. You can follow me on the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, TikTok. Uh, I'm basically everywhere, you know? There's also lots of ways to support down there. Teespring, Amazon affiliate link, and of course my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous Patreon patrons and YouTube channel members. I hope you guys will join me again tomorrow. Keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands. Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Uh,